Wow, man, this thing's got some go. Yeah, today um, I'm on a Wonga Dam fishing for barramundi and we're gonna do it in a pretty cool way. We're gonna throw big surface lures, big walk the dog style lures on the top in the shallow weedy pockets and um, hopefully get a massive uh, surface strike. So I'm here today with Trent from LJ's Complete Angler at Gladstone. Um, he's been out here just recently getting a few on top water as well. So. Give it a go. It's going to be a little bit of hard work, I think, but um, hopefully conditions are pretty good. We probably in a chance of getting one here today, so stay tuned. Hopefully we uh, get a big barra. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think anyone else has been down here, eh? No, Certainly cast a long way. <laughs> I don't know. Be a bit. It's really just luck whether they hook up or not, isn't it? And they move far to eat it, you reckon? Or they sort of... Well, the ones that were pretty much taken the other morning were like right on the edge of the weed. Okay. Like you didn't really see like a bow wave come out after. It was more like if you're right on the edge, that's it. Right. Like that. Oh! oh miss one. That's not good. <laughs> All right, we're only a couple of minutes in. I'm throwing a big Molex walk the dog here. Uh, I got some 100 pound nylon leader. And we got a first strike in the first, I want to say, three or four minutes of, of casting, and probably my fourth cast. Unfortunately, missed the hooks. Uh, that's part of it. But um, yeah, not cool. Let's hopefully the next one connects up and we got one on. And they don't come back, do they? Am I moving around the right pace, you reckon, or a bit? Oh, you got a hit? All right, so Trench just had a miss as well. This is not good. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, look at the massive swirl here. Oh, another one there. Yes, got him, got him, got him. Yes. Oh, that's a big fish, man. Oh, I pulled out. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, I had to pull out. Oh, no. Worked so hard. That was a really big fish, well over a metre. I've got probably two heavy gauge of hooks on here, would be my suggestion, but. <laughs> we'll keep trying. Jesus. That was a long way in the retrieve too. I was working along that big long hard edge there. I should have changed the trebles on these these lures. Got big salt water like super strongs on it sort of thing. I probably didn't have enough drag on the rear on the rear either to be honest. Dude, I am shattered. Shattered. Change the hooks out. Get a little bit lighter. Yeah, these hooks are like six by strongs or something, you know what I mean? Let's go these 58s. Yeah. Him. That's, that's good. Oh. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I had enough drag on that then. I had enough drag that on that. That was proper hooked in too. That was... Oh. Uh, yeah, oh, no. I, I'm kind of lost for words at the moment. I'll come back to you in five minutes with a comment on that, but uh, for the time being, we've got Chafe well down. I had it right down. I had heaps of drag on the reel. I don't know. I just lost it. That was a pretty cool eat. It was so that was, close that to was good. A little bit of weed on it. This does not swim. Oh, look at the bow wave. Look at that. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Holy sh... <laughs> Have you had that before? Yeah. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. It's on it. I think it's a caddy. That first one wasn't a caddy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just got fresh air then. I didn't feel Pop anything. It out. Yeah. yeah. Yes! Yes! Got him. Got him. 
Yes. We have we Oh god, I'm driving like Uh, driver's back corner. Oh, heavy in the weed. Oh, yes, off. Holy Oh! Wow! Man, this thing's got some go. Don't go up in there. Come on. <laughs> Corner of the cheek. Get ready. Here we go. He's got one more in him, I think. Get away from that weed. No, I got him. Come this side. Yep, there we go. Jeez, he's heavy. Oh. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Oh. Bring him over. Yeah! <laughs> Look at so Oh, yes! <laughs> Woo. Nice work, Thanks, mate. brother. <laughs> nice work. That is a stomp. Oh, that's a big one. Wow. I was worried when he's so deep in that weed. Oh, look at that, straight and straight in the top hooks. Okay, sliding out. All right, have a go of that. That's an absolute horse. It's well over a meter. How big do you reckon, Trent? I reckon we'll go a meter. Eight? Eight, nine? Yeah, meter eight's my yep. call. That Molex WTD. Now, this is the 150, very hard to get. Everyone's been using the 120, uh, but this has got a bigger bigger walk and a lot more noise it's got a lot more attention today this thing's heavy it's beautiful condition. very nice dark fish all right we'll put him in the brag mat and check him out all right so it looks like 106 and a little bit you give it but uh very very nice fish from this weed awesome fight i did lose that fish earlier on so i came back to these lighter gauge trebles we did bend one by the looks of it but hey look we got the fish in a very hard to hook place right there not you know most hooks wouldn't get stuck in that position so that's a pretty impressive uh hook up spot there i think we did have the hook the fish hooked in another position i think here and that's pulled out so we've, we've caught him across the cheek basically so sharp hooks will get that fish and i think i would have lost it or missed the strike on a on a heavier gauge treble all right lures out let's throw him back in the water all right what a sight that was a great fight great fun got my revenge for pulling the hooks on two earlier look at the colors on that fish aren't they spectacular that's just an amazing amazing color living in this weed they get very dark and green like this whereas the fish in the main basin are a lot more silver awesome awesome fish great fun to catch worth all those casts Big thanks to Trent and the boys from Complete Angle Gladstone for putting us on to the fish. And also a shout out to Dean Sylvester for the tips on the lure and the tips on those hooks. Like I said, we've got a position here where we had the other hook, the other hook on the treble stuck in there. So, all right, we'll send him on or her on her way, I think. Woohoo! She's away. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, man. Oh, That's unreal. Oh. So we had some significant factors, I think, this morning. We had sort of overcast conditions with very little wind. Got all those bites early, and then we had a wind change direction, a wind direction change. 
And then we got very overcast, and I think the fish really shut down. We might have one bite in, those, in, that, uh, in that sort of conditions. And then we come back and the wind died off a little bit. And I think the fish have probably just got used to that wind change. And they've got used to the overcast and we just worked along here and got that fish off that, off that weed edge here. So I'm gonna have a sit down. I'm gonna let Trent throw the lure for a while cause I'm buggered. And uh, fingers crossed, we can get another one. We'll see, we'll keep going. All right, so I've given a red hot crack. It's a little bit after nine. That wind's starting to puff up again and it's sort of going to rain actually. So we're going to call it there, but that was pretty cool. Big thanks again to Trent from Complete Angle Gladstone for taking us out, showing us around the dam. And uh, guys, if you can get out here, uh, that was pretty cool. It looked like I was going home with a donut and it would have been the most fun donut I think I've had for a long time because those surface strikes are uh, they're pretty cool. Gets the heart pumping even if you don't land them. And thank God I finally landed one and got one so I'll have a big smile on my face driving home today. So, all right, I'll check you next time. Catch you guys.